Hey there, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today, we are talking all about a specific kind of node inside of the Fusion page of Resolve, and it's called a background node, Shaboom. This is one of the most useful nodes inside of Fusion, but what is it? I'll select the node and hit two to bring it up into this viewer. By default, it's just a black background, and you can change the color over here in the inspector, just like you would expect. Let me adjust things here so we can see them. So this is great for just generating a solid color. Also super useful to make a solid color to mask if you want to make like a specific shape. So let's say I wanted to make a circle with my background node selected. I can just hit this ellipse mask and now I have a red circle that I can use for graphics or compositing or whatever. Get rid of that for now. One thing that I find myself using background nodes for quite a bit is just to make a clear background to put stuff over. So I'll just reset everything because it comes in as black. And if it is black, you can just turn down this alpha and it will just be a clear background. The reason why you do that is because it sets the composition settings to be your project settings. So you don't run into any weird sizing things later because sometimes if you bring in, let's say a square image and that's the first node in your comp, sometimes Fusion will decide that you want your comp to be square, which you usually don't. So I like to start with a clear background node like this if I'm gonna make graphics or I'm building something from scratch. Again, I'll come up and reset this. Another thing to note is under type here where it says solid color, there's a bunch of different things that you can actually adjust here, including several kinds of gradients. So like a horizontal gradient, you can pick the left color and then scroll down and pick the right color. And that's just a quick way to make a nice gradient. Same thing for like vertical, four corner. So you pick a color for each corner or in a sort of confusing way, you can just select gradient. The reason you'd select gradient is because you can actually adjust where the gradient starts and stops and kind of have more of a custom thing. You can also add multiple colors along this gradient ramp. It's just kind of the advanced mode, right? But if you want something really quick, like I just want it to go from black to white, you can just select horizontal, make one white, one black, super easy. I mean, that's pretty much the ins and outs of the background node. It's pretty simple, but really, really useful. I find myself using these for just like everything. If you wanna learn more about specific nodes, I made a super convenient playlist right here. Go ahead and check it out. My kids are screaming. You hear them? It's great. It's great. They're so happy. I love it. 